This question is a GRE quantitative reasoning sample question. This question is from the chapter algebra. Functions is the concept tested. It's an easy question. This question is of the format. Select one or more answers correct. Let's get started with the question. If f of x equals x square plus 4, that's the definition of this function. Which of the following is equal to f of 9? Indicate all such answers. We have six answer options. We need to check out which of these answer options will have the same value as that of f of 9. So step one for us is computing the value of f of 9. Once we know what f of 9 is, then we can find out the values of each of these answer options and check out which one has the same answer as that of f of 9. So let's start with finding out f of 9. f of 9 is equal to replace all x with 9. 9 square plus 4, which is 81 plus 4, which is 85. Now we're going to go through all of these answer options one after the other and check out which one has the same answer as f of 9, which is equal to 85. Answer option A is f of 3. So that's x square plus 4 will be 3 square plus a 4, which is equal to 13 which is not the same as f of 9. So answer option A is not one of our answers. Answer option B is f of 13, which is 13 square plus 4, which is 169 plus 4, 173, which is also not the answer. Let's look at f of minus 9. f of x is x square plus 9. So f of minus 9 will be minus 9 square plus 4. Minus 9 square is 81. 81 plus 4 is equal to 85. It's the same as f of 9. Those of you who are aware and have probably noticed, this function is an even function. Even functions are functions where f of x is equal to f of minus x. So f of 9 in this case is equal to f of minus 9 because this function is an even function. It's not true for all functions. For example, had it been an x cube plus 4, if that had been our f of x, f of 9 will not be the same as f of minus 9. So don't assume that f of 9 and f of minus 9 always will have to be the same. They'll be same for even functions. This one is an even function, therefore it works. So answer option C is one of our answers. Let's run through the remaining three also and check out whether we get the same answer as 85 for those. This is a recursive function, f of f of root 5. So step one, let's find out f of root 5. Let me write it here. f of root 5 is equal to root 5 square plus a 4, which is root 5 square is a 5. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So f of f of root 5. Now instead of f of root 5, we have found that value to be a 9. So this is equal to f of 9. So if f of f of root 5 is equal to f of 9, then it has to be equal to 85. We are trying to find out which all have the same answer option as f of 9. This is the same as f of 9. So answer option D is one of our answers. Move on to E. This is again a recursive function. f of f of root 13. So step 1, let me compute f of root 13. f of root 13 is root 13 square plus a 4, which is equal to 17. So now f of root 13 is a 17. Instead of this part, we can rewrite it as a 17. f of 17 will be equal to 17 square plus 4. 289 plus 4, which is 293, which is not the same as f of 9. The last answer option is f of f of minus root 5. Let's compute the value of this. This is also a recursive function. f of minus root 5. The value of this is going to be minus root 5 square plus a 4. Minus root 5 square is a 5. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So f of f of root 5, this value is going to be equal to, instead of f of minus root 5, we can replace it with a 9. So this is equal to f of 9. So answer option f is also equal to f of 9. So what are all our answer options? C is 1, D is 1, and f, f, f is the third. So C, D, F are our answers. Quickly run through it in a printed form. These are the values of f of 3, which is not the same as f of 9. f of 13 is also not the same as f of 9. f of minus 9 ends up being the same as f of 9. f of f of root 5 is the same as f of 9. f of f of minus root 5 is the same as f of 9 f of f of root 13 is also not the same as f of 9. So three answer options, c, d and f. Relatively an easy question, but takes a while. Any of this select one or more answer options will take you probably a minute and a half plus to get to the answer. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user at wzko.in slash quant. The URL is there on the screen. This is a GRE online quant course, the most comprehensive course you will get can sign up either on the web using Google Chrome browser or you can download our Android or iOS app and get started. It takes all of five minutes and three steps to get started. Start with the free topics, start with statistics, averages and a few lessons in data interpretation. Build momentum into your GRE quant preparation. Once you've got the momentum and you find that this teaching methodology helps you prepare for the GRE, you can pay and access the remaining topics behind the paywall. Second thing I want you to do is subscribe to this channel youtube.com slash gre and turn on notifications. If you have friends or classmates preparing for the GRE, let them know about this channel 
and this online course. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe and stay motivated.